Welcome back to the channel. Starting the day off at the junkyard and why I'm at the junkyard today was because I needed to take measurements from the engine mount locations off of the 6-2 block. Since I'm making a custom subframe that's all chromoly and tube, I need to have all these either laser cut, plasma cut, or water jetted. So I need to design them all. I'm getting all the dimensions at the beginning of this video. So when I go home and be before I edit this video, I'm gonna design all the flanges and then I can 3D print them tonight and test them all out and then get them cut so we can get the subframe moving forward. But another reason I'm very happy that I came to the junkyard today is it's December and the cat guy's here. So the cat guy comes once a year and I have a whole year worth of Dodge cats. Most of these are SRT cats. So I should be getting a pretty penny for them. It doesn't seem like anybody on the forums wants to, needs any cats. So, you know, the great thing is I, I have like 13 of these things. So I'm uh, probably like two grand or something like that. It'll be definitely a bit of money, but really happy that I saved all these a whole year, whole year's worth of cats. But uh, we'll see what they're worth at the end of this video as well. I think at the end of this video, because I'm gonna take them up there really quick and they're gonna pretty much go through them. And then uh, I'll do the solid works later tonight. But now we're gonna go down to the shop, measure a few things on the subframe, put some dimensions down on paper, and then start getting the car ready to prime, prime the car. Just finished getting all the weird little spots sanded down. I also put some icing on some spots that I didn't like. So now what I'm gonna do is scuff some of the stuff in here because I'm gonna put a little bit of primer across this because there's bare metal right there. Same as the other side, and then I'll reprime the whole car. I'll also prime some stuff on the inside. I need to remove that seat. I need to mask this off, but before I do that, I'm gonna remove the seat and then clean it so uh, the, the tape and everything adheres nice, and then it's ready to go. So let's clean this thing up, get the next cut of primer on it.
The charger is now reprimed and this thing is looking good. So now we can stay on this in 120. Tomorrow hopefully is as warm as it was today. I think it was like 70 today. I could put suspension on this thing, roll it outside, let it bake for a while, then bring it back in 120 the upper rails and then start the roof. I'll wait to 120 the rest of the car just so it has a little bit more time to shrink. And uh, I think we're making some good progress. So I'm really glad to see this thing in primer. She just looks so, so smooth. I'm just super excited about that. While I was priming the car, I went and grabbed the FC fan shroud. So this thing, all I'm gonna do is 120 it and then I could paint it, make a mold from the, uh, make a mold when I do the charger roof and uh, just kind of go from there because I really need to get the electric fan on the FC because the clutch fan just always stays engaged and the car never really 100% warms up. So I'm just uh, glad that we're at the stage. We're at the 120 grit straight stage and then the roof stage. And then we're gonna be moving on from that to uh, 320 and then we can paint the car. So I'm getting very excited. So hopefully tomorrow is, tomorrow is warm so we can roll this thing outside and uh, get it nice and baked for a little bit and then uh, just start 120 some areas to get the roof started. So I'm gonna go home. Now that this thing's primed, there's not much more I could do to it today while this stuff dries and it's, it hardens and the primer gets all hard and everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I got some dimensions for the, uh, the subframe. So I'm gonna do a little bit of solid works. So I got my center line caliper. These things are pretty expensive and uh, I could do that and some other things to get this thing moving forward. I, uh, I need to make those dimensions are for that. I need to make the engine bracket dimensions and then I need to make some miscellaneous stuff as well. So I'll probably end up designing that, 3D printing it, bringing it tomorrow and then bolting it, making sure everything's gonna be good with that and then we'll just kind of go from there. So let's head home. Before I head home, I'm gonna grab some uh, dinner and then uh, we can do some SolidWorks, which will be awesome. What I'm gonna do is design the flanges that I need for the engine mounts and the back part of the uh, subframe mounts. So I do have my dimensions right here and they're pretty simple dimensions. So um, I'm just gonna go through it pretty quick. Shouldn't take too long. Then go over and 3D print them. Make sure all the holes line up tomorrow. But uh, the other one is the one that goes on the outside of the frame rail in the wheel well. And I may actually end up making this come out and bend it and then bend a 45 off of it so I can connect a piece of chromoly tubing to that 45 so then I can still get the bolts in. But we'll see how it works. I'll 3D print it how uh, I think it's gonna work. And uh, I've also thought about CNCing it from a piece of chrome molly and then just have the tube slip into it and then weld it around the tube. But uh, I don't know if I wanna go that crazy with it. So we'll see. I'll probably do two variations of it and then uh, see which one I like better, which one is a little bit easier. I'm not exactly sure. Those bolt holes aren't meant to probably hold that much weight. I'm just adding it as an extra support to tie in the outside.
was a quick little design sesh. I did some SolidWorks, put it into the three printing slicer software, and now we have the parts printing down there on the three printer. I love this three printer. After I got all the kinks and everything worked out and actually had a good slicer software, it works very well. So what I'm gonna do is wait for this to print. It says it's gonna print, take nine hours to print. So what I ended up doing was I wanna tie in the outside frame rails or the outside, um, I'm not exact, they're like the anti-intrusion um, mounts, I guess is what they're supposed to be. But I wanted to tie those into the back of the subframe because I just don't think the lower control arm hangs so far back. I don't think if I had, if I had no bracing back there, I just feel like it would, when I launched it, it would want to kind of buckle. So I feel like this is pretty much going to resolve that issue. I mentally took some angles and stuff in my head. I use a centerline caliper, gets you very accurate measurements and it's a very expensive one. So uh, that's the reason why I bought it. So hopefully tomorrow we'll test this out. We'll test that out, make sure all the, um, all the dimensions are correct. If I have to change anything, I will. I think they were 10 mil bolts. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. I should have brought one home with me, but we'll figure that out tomorrow. Also on the engine mount, so I'm gonna run polyurethane bushings in it. I don't like, I really don't like how bulky the factory Hellcat mounts are. So what I'm gonna end up doing is running two because it's gonna have a lot of horsepower, a lot of torque. It's a V8, um, you know, it's not like a SR or something where you just run a single one, but I feel like one won't be sufficient enough to actually handle all the horsepower into the torque. So I'm gonna run two per side and that will give me a lot thinner, it'll be a lot thinner than the factory Hellcat mount once the subframe's complete and everything. So tomorrow we'll have this stuff printed. I'll uh, test it out. Also tomorrow, I'll figure out how much I made off my catalytic converters because I actually had 13 of them. I didn't think I bought that many cars this year, but I guess I did. So we'll figure out how much I made. My boss had baskets and baskets of them. So, um, you know, mine, mine were the last to go through. If the guy comes, if he's finishing up tomorrow, I'll figure out what I made and just kind of go from there. But I'm gonna end the video on this note. We got the, we got the car reprimed, got this, uh, you know, some of the subframe stuff designed and it's just gonna be, you know, continue in progress. So tomorrow I wanna get the roof started and uh, I really just had to wait for the primer to dry and everything. So tomorrow I will also push the car out, let it bake in the sun as long as it's nice and warm and sunny and uh, just kind of go from there. So we are making progress on the car. It should be painted in the next couple of weeks. The roof should be made in the next couple of weeks. So if you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, thumbs up, comment below. See you guys next time.